Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center here. And today we're going to go over a really nice, classy motorhome that we just bought, guys. And uh, this is a little bit older. It's a 2004 Fleetwood Tioga SL, which is a 30U as a model number. Back in 04, I mean, this was a cat's meow. This was one of the best Class Cs you could buy, one of the most expensive ones, too. MSRP was right around $89,000 on this unit. And, uh, you know, back then, of course, 89000 in this day and age for a new RV is, is chicken scratch. But back then, that was a lot of money for a used class, or I mean, for a new Class C. That was mid-level Class A gas price back then. So this was definitely Fleetwood's biggest and best in a Class C. This is uh, 30 feet long, six inches. Guys, we bought this from a couple, and um, one of my actually one of my viewers called and said, "Hey, I've got this motor home. We've owned it for several years. We just had new tires put on it. We're getting too old to." really use it anymore and enjoy it so i want to see if you wanted to buy it and when we struck a deal up sent after it drove about drove about 800 miles to get it and it got a really nice all original tioga that's been kept undercover uh they had a building they kept it in and uh when they weren't using it and this thing only has 13,000 actual miles on it runs and drives great ford e450 chassis with uh, 305 horsepower v10 6.8 liter triton v10 420 pound feet of torque got a 4kw onan generator running right now with just barely over 100 hours on it on an 04 model i mean guys this is a very very nice all original class c and it's there's and i was doing a little research on these and, and going from memory too when you bought a new tioga sl you only had three options you can get on it. They come loaded from the factory. The three options were uh, overhead entertainment center and the cab over, which this one has, backup camera, which this one has, and outside stereo and speakers, which this one also has. So literally this has every option you could get in a 2004 SL Tioga. And looking around it, guys, you know, I know it's an 04. It's going to have its little flaws and stuff like that, being the age it is, but really nice, guys. Wine guard satellite system on the roof. It's got a uh, patio awning. You know, it's got the typical, and all these Fords do this when they get about this age. The stripes on these things, they always have a little gap right here, and over time, people push in on that, and it makes it do that not gonna hurt anything it's just a little cosmetic thing but uh and it's missing one wheel centers it does have the alcoa wheels not the wheel covers tires are just two months old so pretty much you can call them brand new tires they've, they've got about a thousand miles on them and looking around it guys it does have two slides awning looks great um Toe hitch on the back, it toes 5,000 pounds. Got the one piece fiberglass front. You've got the slide topper awnings. These people actually took very good care of this coach. And yeah, I know this is a little bit older, but, and I probably paid a little bit more than I should have for this RV, but where are you gonna find a 2004 Tioga SL with 13,000 miles? This is not something that just falls into your lap every single day. No delamination, still got a lot of original shine left on it. Um, generators purring like a kitten. Dash air works, roof air's cold. No check engine lights. See the fiberglass front end with the overlapping thing. This was something back then that very few manufacturers did. And no windows in the cab over. That's something I definitely like to see in a Class C. Um, you know, the thing about the SL2, you got extra basement storage. It's got, y'all have heard of the power platform, which is what Fleetwood uses in their Class A's to give you more basement storage. Well, this one has got the uh, Class C version of it. It's actually sitting on an aluminum box on top of the steel chassis before you step into the floor. So you have a couple of extra steps going in, but you get a lot more storage, outside storage, than you do 
with a uh, class, the most class C's, especially back then. Back then, you was lucky to get half this amount of storage in a class C. Still got the original outside stereo, Panasonic. Yeah, back then, uh, Fleetwood pretty much used all Panasonic electronics. I've done many of these over the years, guys, but it's been a while since I've had one of these. It's nice. Uh-oh. I may have hit the door lock button. Gotta love it. I don't ever rehearse these things, guys. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I go with the flow because, you know, used RVs are unpredictable. Even new ones are unpredictable. So, uh, well, you get to see you coming in from the uh, passenger side. Seats look like 13,000 mile seats should look like, which are still got padding, still puffy, plenty of padding. Uh, these are still running boards too, so you can put the weight on them. You don't have to, they're not like those flimsy fiberglass ones. Here's the hump that you have to go up uh, because of that extra outside storage. And um, these are all flex steel captain's chairs too. They're the best. Let's get my, oh, all right, it wasn't too bad. All right, let's look over here, 13,711.1 miles. Everything looks great, oil pressure looks great. Um, these people took really good care of it, guys. Got a, uh, there's a backup camera. Now that's not the original one. The original one's probably uh, been replaced, which those things don't last that long anyway. Tilt crews, power windows, power locks, heated power mirrors. Plenty of cup holders. Even got a place there to keep your change organized. Does have optional cab over entertainment center. Now the TV's been changed out. It would originally had a, a CR, a, a CRTV a Panasonic square tube. That's got a flat screen. Still got the original DVD player. That should be a five disc. Remember those? <laughs> we thought it was the stuff back then when you had one of those. Uh, Panasonic surround sound system. I mean, the headliner looks perfect. It does have a 15,000 BTU ducted roof there. They only put the best on them back then. And this is back when Fleetwood was Fleetwood. You know, they bankrupted during the recession. Got bought out by one company, I think, and then they got then they eventually got bought out again by Rev Group, who also built Holiday Rambler. And they still have the Fleetwood name. But they don't, and they, the technology may be better, but they definitely don't have the build quality. Uh, of these year model Fleetwoods right here. I mean, this was back in their prime time. Uh, table booth makes a bed across from a sofa with a flip down center console that also makes a bed. All solid hardwood cabinets. Microwave looks like it's been changed out. A uh, little smaller than what came in. They used an odd size oven back then. They called them the Apollo halftime oven. And they went out of business during the recession, too. And unfortunately, you can't get them anymore. So a lot of times, you have to put a smaller microwave in where one was at and just adapt it to fit. I mean, it's in there. It's good. It works. But uh, unfortunately, that's part of it. Three-burner stovetop, oven, carpet's original. It looks great. They used a really unique carpet back then. Really plush. And it looks great in here. Probably got a six foot, 10 inch interior ceiling height. It's a nice motor home, guys. I know I probably paid more than I should have for it, but like I said out there, where are you gonna find another one with 13,000 miles and 100 hours on the generator with new tires and all that good stuff? Look at these finished cabinets, guys. I mean, the quality of these Fleetwoods are just, I mean, they're still good coaches now, but they're nothing. These right here are just so much better built overall than that's the windshield cover. So you can shut the windshield off at night for privacy. These are just so well built back then. See the edge glass front cabinets? 
um, just neat. Uh, refrigerator is, and it should be an eight cubic foot if memory serves me right from back then. I've done so many of these Jamboree and Tioga SLs over the years, I pretty much memorized the specs. Well, most of them. Uh, already works, already getting cold. We do guarantee, guys, like all of our used RVs, we do guarantee refrigerator, roof airs to get to operating temperature. We do guarantee slide outs to work and generator to function correctly. Uh, double basin sink, got a countertop extender right here. Storage, we're gonna walk toward the back. Uh, we'll look at the bedroom first. You've got your second slide out in the bedroom, so you got a lot of changing area, a lot of room in here for a Class C bedroom. Queen Island bed. Looks like they put some decorative starfish up there. We have some pictures and little beach scenes and stuff like that. So, um, little skimp place. They probably had a velcro tape command strip with a picture or something like that there you can always cover that up with something like another picture foot of the bed you got a huge double closet four sets of drawers down there you've got a little makeup get ready you can use it for a computer desk place to pay your bills whatever you want to use it for guys uh i love the finished cabinets they just don't do that anymore um Looking here, of course, there's all your particulars. Hmm. Neat, guys. You can see no signs of water intrusion anywhere. But like I said, they've kept this thing under cover when it wasn't being used. So, and they've definitely kept the maintenance up. Pretty neat, guys. I wouldn't really call it a retro RV by no means. It's not old enough for that, but got a privacy curtain. But just a nice, nice class C for what it is. And, and where else are you going to find 13,000 miles? Let's see here. 119 hours on the generator. They even filled the propane tank up for us. Really nice people that had this, and they really took care of it, and they cared about this coach, so... And it really shows. Woo! Um, it's, uh... Let me know in the comments what you think about it, guys. Boy, that, between that front air... In that roof air, it's it's pretty chilly because it's, it's it's under 65 right now. In fact, I'm going to cut that air off. Um, <laughs> this unit is 42.9 and uh, while it lasts. And if you're interested in it, give us a call. 706-965-7929. You give us a call let us know you're coming we'll make sure it's here um you know because you never assume it's going to be here guys you always want to call and check because a lot of times these things get deposits taken they don't get taken off the website or mark deal pending till the end of the day always always call and make sure it's available of course nothing's guaranteed until you leave money on it but um, at least call and we don't mind in certain situations, putting a temporary hold on it until you drive to get here. Um, but, but then again, I mean, if somebody comes in with cash, wanting to buy it on the spot, we'll call you, give you the opportunity to leave a deposit on it before we take their offer. So, you know, it's always best to leave a deposit. But in time, I know a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing that, even though we do it all the time. But we're in business, you're not. So, you know, that's a chance we take. And it has bit us in the butt a few times. I'm not going to lie. But that's just the nature of the business. You know, you can't you can't sell anything if you don't have it in stock. That's one thing I learned a long time ago. We didn't look at the bathroom, did we? Um, look at this shower. That's that kind of, I didn't even think they did that back in 2004. But I guess they did. 
Oh, you gotta love the little stick on fish down there. Got the faux marble. I mean, that's, huh. Yeah, that's a dual, dual form plastics. That's what, that's what Fleetwoods and a lot of other brands used back then. That's just cool looking. You can see around the skylight too, no signs of water damage. Look at the water closet. This door opens up for a privacy barrier. So this gives you your entire bedroom and bathroom to get ready in. And of course you can close this curtain and completely isolate the bathroom. And uh, I mean, they do some good job decorating in here and they didn't go crazy with it. So you see the wallpaper border not peeling around the edges. That means it hasn't been stored extreme heat. Look at that headliner, especially around the vents, guys. I can't find any indication this thing's ever leaked. Um, this ceiling is bright white and just just looks great. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Like I said, I know this may not be for everybody, but if you're looking for a really nice ultra low mileage Class C for under 50 grand with two slides and you want pretty much the best of what you can get, this is definitely one to consider. Um, Cause you're not gonna be disappointed in this one. I know that. I'm not. Of course, you know, we're known for having some of the nicest used RVs in the industry, guys. And this is just another example of, of the items that we carry that are just other dealers would give their left leg to have. But we got lucky on this one, guys. One of my subscribers, you know, we always buy RVs. I mean, we sell, yeah, that's our primary business, but you got to realize for every RV that we sell, we have to buy too. So we're always buying. If you've got one like this for sale, it's nice. I don't want junk. I don't want projects. I will be, give us a call. We pay good money for them if they're nice. And I don't care to, if we can make the numbers work out where it makes sense to us, I don't care to send out after it, even if I have to go cross country. You know, it's nothing for us to send a driver to California to pick something up because as long as the numbers make sense to cover the transportation cost, we'll do it. All we ask you to do is be 100% honest with us about the condition of it, send us pictures. If you've got one for sale, uh, give us a call at 706-965-7929 or you can call dad directly. He does most of the buying now. Uh, I do some of it when he's not available, but. His number is 423-605-6747. You can text them and send them pictures at that phone number too. If you've got one for sale, let them know. Um, you say for those, and, and if you watch my videos, you know the quality we like to buy. This is the quality coach that we like to buy. It's something in this condition. So, uh, you know, if you've got issues with it, you know, one or two little issues I can handle but I, I pretty much like to buy them. When I buy them, you know, I'll trade for anything. But when we actually go out and buy one, I want it to be super nice for my customers because y'all deserve it. And, um, you know, I don't just want to put nothing out here that's going to need a roof or in been, been ripped apart in four different pieces and welded back together. I don't want stuff like that, guys. I don't, not at any price. In fact, we've even gotten more selective about our trade-ins now. We're, we're kind of uh, trying to stay away from the projects because right now with the parts and labor shortage in RVs, nobody's really wanting to buy anything to work on. So we're, we're trying to buy stuff that's pretty much like this, as close to original as possible, that's really clean, very well cared for, ready to go. And we just drove this thing several hundred miles back. It did great, towing a car or two. Um, this is this is this is a nice Fleetwood, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Um, price is forty two nine haggle free firm with plus applicable sales tax. We charge no extra fees. Besides, if you are a Georgia resident, applies to Georgia residents only. There is a hundred dollar highway impact fee, forty to fifty dollar tag and title fee. Doesn't apply to out-of-state customers. That's just because Georgia makes us charge that. Used to, we just paid it for years, but now Georgia requires me to show the customer paying it on a bill of sale. And everything, of course, 
you know, here's the thing a lot of y'all may not know, but Georgia dealers, car dealers, RV dealers, motorcycle dealers, boat dealers get audited at random once a year. So everything's got to match up, money taken in, money for what we sold, what's on the bill of sale, everything's got to match up perfectly or we get big fines. So we have to show that $100 highway impact fee and that $40 to $50 tag and title fee on the bill of sale and our bank records have to match it too. Because we go so far, we actually make a separate bank deposit for every single used RV transaction we do so that everything matches up perfectly. And we do have financing available with approved credit and down payment. Um, of course, this being an 04, I, I don't, may not have as many lenders as I would if it was a 2014, but A, a 2014 is going to be a lot more money, and B, a 2014 is not going to be near the quality of this 2004. So, um, keep that in mind. I still have one, one or two lenders that are still loan on a 2004, but they may not go a super long term. So you might want to check with your bank or credit union to see what they offer for a 2004 Tioga SL30U and have that for a basis of comparison to see which one works better for you. Because it doesn't matter to us, guys, who you finance through. I, we don't care. We don't make money on financing. We don't mark interest rates up. Other dealers get mad when you provide your own financing through your own bank or credit union because they miss out on thousands of dollars in profit because they mark interest rates up. We don't do that, guys. You know, if you go through our lenders, you pay whatever the lowest possible rate we can get you is. Um, we don't say, hey, you got a proof of this amount, then we mark it up 2% and say, hey, no, you got proof of this amount. We don't do that like other dealers do, guys. Because when they do that, that can cost you thousands of dollars in, in extra finance charges over the life of an RV loan. Plus, they always bring in the up sales and all that stuff, extended warranties, gap insurance, all that stuff marked up three or four times to their cost. Added to your loan with the interest rate marked up, it's just a, it's a big scam, guys. That's how you wind up uh, leaving the dealership owing 25, 20, 25 grand more than what the RV was advertised for on price. <laughs> And, you, and most of the time, a lot of these people, poor people don't even know it. They start thinking about payment instead of amount financed. You know, always pay as much down as you possibly can. The rate and the amount financed always tells you what your payment will be. Math never fails on that. So quit worrying about payment. Worry, go ahead and do your research, get an idea what payment is on this amount of money, that amount of money. I always tell people, figure up a payment on twenty thousand dollars thirty thousand forty thousand and what it costs more per month for every ten thousand dollars that you finance use that for a basis of comparison so you kind of get an idea what your budget is what you can afford and then work on the price not the payment because you know what your payment will be beforehand and um that helps you out Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know again in the comments what you think about this beautiful 04 Tioga SL. I don't get them like this in every day. Um, with 13,000 miles and 117 hours or whatever it was on the generator. Um, but everything that we guarantee to work works great. You know, like I said, we guarantee refrigerator, freezer, roof air to be operating to get to operating temp and it does we guarantee slide outs to work they do we guarantee generator to run put out it does uh we guarantee it to hit the road like it's supposed to it's got brand new tires no check engine lights all that's fine um 13 000 miles you just you just don't get a much lower than that on mileage guys and um if you got questions about it give us a call 706-965-7929 um you can email sales at parkwayrbcenter.com but always better to call during business hours which are monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m eastern time saturday 9 to 5 close sunday for the lord's day and family day for our employees family owned and operated for 53 years guys we sell about five to six hundred used rvs a year got a great selection of class c's class a's even got a few b's in stock nobody's got those guys i've probably got more used rvs than just about anybody in one location go to my website you can see a lot of them i don't have everything posted online yet so um, if you don't see what you're looking for on the website call talk to one of my salespeople. tell them what you're looking for 
we may have it in stock it's not posted online yet they can send you pictures kind of give you a, a try to work out a deal with you and uh, or we may have it coming in we've got a we've got a board full of rvs all over the united states waiting to be picked up that we bought and um you know we're <laughs> we've got 53 years of influence and contacts to buy this stuff before the big dealers get them and sell them for less and um we're not afraid to take a chance guys on buying these things so if you've got one for sale give us a call we'll buy from individuals we'll buy from auctions we'll buy from dealers uh wholesalers we buy from we buy from all over guys we try not to leave any stone unturned but thank you again for watching again i appreciate it and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, George. I also forgot to mention, guys, if you like this video, smash me a thumbs up. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button. Comment. Share on social media. They're free for you to watch. The more interaction you give my channel and my videos, the more YouTube shares it with other, with other YouTubers, the more it helps support my channel. So make sure to tell everybody about us, about my channel. Like me on Facebook, uh, RVs with Big Bo. Again, my Facebook channel or my YouTube channel, RVs with Big Bo. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.